Hi, it's Eric with Cat Avenue, and today we're going to be exploring the PNID module. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new drawing. And the way that I do this in AviCAD, and it's very similar in AutoCAD, uh, you just click on the icon here, choose the template you want. This is our Imperial template, and this is our metric template. Uh, this video is going to be more specific to uh, Imperial, but very similar. Uh, you'll just have to make your scaling just slightly different. So let's choose pcad.dwt. That opens up a new file. Here we can just say yes to the using the MetQ default settings. Um, and then we can close down this other drawing here by right clicking and closing out. Now that we know we're in an imperial, come over here to the MetQ pull down and then we're going to go down to the MetQ configuration and we're going to make sure the units is set to English. Now by default it could be set to metric so you want to check this for sure. Of course if you're in metric keep it in metric so um, all these settings will depend on your scaling. Alright so now that I've done that um, let's uh, get started with the PNID module. Um, you can find it here. So if we open up the PNID module, you'll see all the uh, symbols on the right and then on the left you have this category pull down where you can select different fittings. Uh, today we're going to be working in the valve menu and we'll be adding a pressure reducing valve into this. What we're going to do this is we're just going to come up here and select add new. Um, but before we do that, let's get a general feeling of the scaling of these valves. Um, so I'm just going to select the butterfly valve and choose this one arbitrarily and put it in my drawing. It's going to ask for the insert point and the direction. So uh, here I can just say OK to that. Now if we zoom down on this symbol, it's going to scale very, very small. So let's do a DI for distance. And we're just going to measure the point from here to here. And it tells us it's a quarter of an inch. If you're not comfortable using uh, architectural scaling, uh, let me go ahead and change something here. Let's go ahead and type in um, DD units and then for our scaling we can change this to engineering here or decimal here. So we're just going to leave it at decimal. We can change the precision of two so it's just going to give us, uh, just keep it simple. And if we dimension this again it will say 0.25. So that's totally up to you how you want to do that. But um, so anyways, that's how you get to that setting. Um, so the other thing we want to check is our dim scale. And this is going to be set uh, by default to 1, which is good for this uh, exercise. And then next, I have a, um, a block that I, a symbol that I've created here on my uh, desktop called Drawing 2. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in here. One thing to keep in mind is make sure the color of all the entities is set to 255 and the layer 0 and this allows the symbol to inherit the layer that it's on. And then I'm just going to do a control C and then, and then copy it into this drawing here. As you can see this symbol is um, very similar to the, in size to this other one. It's a quarter of an inch. Um, I'm just going to just place it right there. So let's just go ahead and uh, erase this symbol here. And let's do a zoom and then let's just put a window around this to zoom down into it. And then from here we can just make our slide. So we type in the M slide command. Uh, here I've created a folder in my documents folder. I just created this PNID symbols folder. Um, 
I have one in here already and I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. So next we're going to save this as a block uh, to our hard drive to the same folder. Um, we need to know this, the center of this block and it's offset. You know, normally we would uh, put the center here, but since this block is uh, not symmetrical, we're just going to um, make sure that we've got a point here to snap to. And there's a couple of ways we can do that. I guess the most simplest way is just to draw a line in here, a temporary line. That's really the simplest way um, for now. And then when we save our block, we won't include that line. So I'll, let me show you what I mean. So we're just going to type in WB. And for the base point, we're going to select this midpoint of that line we just drew. And uh, then we want to select the entities. Um, make sure that this is set to the scale you're in. I mean, if you're metric, you want uh, millimeters. But we definitely want inches. That's super important for this. And uh, then let's go ahead and select the entities. So we're just going to select it uh, by crossing. We don't want that other line. And then, and then we browse to the, uh, that folder. Now this is going to have that same name. Hopefully I can remember it. Um, P reducing valve dot DWG. And then next we just say OK to that. Now that just got saved as a block to the hard drive. And we can check that if we want. And there's the block right there. We're OK to go to the next step. Now let's go ahead and uh, load our PNID module. And we'll say Add New. We'll give it a name. And the path is going to be that same path where we were just at. And then my documents folder. And we can just select the block here. Now the slide is the first thing we, we created. So we'll go ahead and go back to the same place. There's the slide. You see the .sld extension there. Uh, for the specs, we're just going to put in 300 PSI. Now, this inline length is the distance that this will be broken when it's inserted into a inline pipe. So let's go ahead and select this side and then this side. That's going to give us that same dimension, 0.25. And then we're done. We can say OK here. And now the symbol is right here at the bottom. And we can see it right here, the one that we created. Now, uh, if we wanted to go ahead and insert that and test it in our drawing, what we would do is we come to Pipe and Fittings, uh, draw a straight line here, and if we want to turn ortho on, that's best course and then press enter and then go back to our valves select draw now you can see it's properly uh, uh, broken the uh, the pipe there and we're all set to go so again, the three steps are to check the, an existing valve or whatever you're trying to draw to get a feel for the scaling. And then the second step would be to create the fitting like I did and then create a slide. And lastly, create a block on your hard drive and then load those settings into the PNID dialog. So I hope this has been helpful. And feel free to reach us at info at cadavenue.com or you can call us at 888-271-7121. Thanks and have a great day.